Greetings, my brothers and my sisters. This is Pastor E. Brandy. Greetings from the Refugee Center of Yahweh, located 2808 Grand Street in the city of North Virginia. We thank Yahweh for this opportunity to come into your homes, your cars, on your jobs, wherever you might be today. Giving Yahweh praise for this is the day that He made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Once again, Lord, we thank Yahweh for this opportunity to come into the call to be viewed by our Zoom brothers and sisters today. Thank Yahweh for you today. And to the Kohal who are present today, may Yahweh for our here. Thank you for your presence and your faithfulness to the kingdom of Yahweh. Hallelujah. Today on our prayer list, beloved, we have Brother Ewan Bowie, Brother Larry Parker, and Sister Doris Parker, Brother Leon Anthony Woodbury Sr. of Richmond, Virginia, Sister Sharon Jackson of Chicago, Illinois, Sister Cecilia West of North Virginia, Sister Deborah and Brother George Butler and Brother George Butler Jr. Brother Florence Graham of Richmond, Virginia. Dick and Joseph I. Sr. of North Virginia. Sister Henry Ann Benjamin. Sister Mary Frances Austin of North Carolina. Sister Betty and Brother Henry Azell of Mississippi. Jorlyn Van Slyden of New York. Sister Mary Jackson of New York. Sister Sharon Jackson of New York. Sister Diane Boy of New York and Brother Daryl Boy of New York. Mother Odessa Askew of Austin, North Carolina. Sister Connie Wayne. Brother Brian K. Sutherland of Long Island. Sister Bertha Morris. Yes. Sister Bernice Lovelace. The Refuge Assembly of Yahweh. Manquick, Virginia, Assembly of Yahweh. Kingwell County. Pastor L. Joseph Sims, Jr. Refuge Temple Assembly of Yahweh, Richmond, Virginia. Pastor Bishop Dr. Jim and Assembly Family. The Refuge Assembly of Yahweh, North of Virginia. Family. To your loved ones. May Yahweh go around today as we come to the throne to petition it. For the supplications for the needs and for all the prayers that have been offered up. Now, eternal Father, once again, we thank you for this another opportunity to come into yes. the hearts of all you people. Father, as we petition you today and ask for your direction, Look down right now, Yahweh, upon those who, who said, pray for me. Yahweh, those right now on beds of affliction, those right now, Father, dealing with all manner of disease. Father, touch right now in the precious name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Touch their bodies from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. You know the situation and circumstances. You know the conditions right now. Yahweh, in spite of what doctors may have already said, Father, we know you to be a doctor who never lost a patient. Yahweh, today, coming to the bedside of those right there, Yahweh, who have been given all kinds of names. Stretch forth your hand of compassion, right? Let the spirit of your feet come in right there. Yahweh, you're the one that healed all manner of disease. Move by your power. And by your spirit right now. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Nothing is too hard for you, Father. You said, Behold, I am the mighty one of all flesh. All flesh. All is there flesh. anything too hard for you? Yes. 
today, Father, we come today boldly to the throne. Yes, For we know you to be a deliverer. God, you are our strength. You are our refuge. You are our shield. You are our buckler. It is in you, Yahweh, that we live, we move, and have our existence. Today, Father, we come over to the throne. Ask it right now that you yes. wrap the loving arms of protection around the believers. Father, touch each home, each family represented today. Yes. Whatever the situation might be, look down upon that one, one your boy, that way the girl right now. Yahweh, that one who is totally different. Father, that one who has a bond to give up, encourage that heart right now. Father. We know today, y'all, be nothing is too hard for you. Father, go right there to the penal system and look down the button. Y'all, we all the souls that they are crying out to you. Yeah. The situation of the circumstances. We know you to be. Oh, y'all, we that way they can never find. Y'all, we know y'all, we y'all. Nothing, nothing, nothing is too hard for you. Pray, to Father, that you would open up the windows of heaven that pour the rockets that your children will have not going to receive. Make waves out right there. God, with that one right now, Father, who's struggling to walk with you. That one right there, Father, who don't know how they're going to pay the next bill. Father, make a way right now. Yes. You know the financial situation right now. Touch right now. Y'all, we should have counted on a thousand hills that belong to you. Y'all, all is yours, Father. Y'all, we today strengthen all your children right now. Father, take us deeper into the depths of your word. Yes. Move by your power right now, y'all. With all that steps, all that steps right now. Continue to open the eyes of our understanding that it may be in light according to the great word of your truth. It is our desire right now, Father, to worship you in spirit and in truth. We come today, Father, in this call to gather in your name, to give you praise, to give you honor. Father, we pray right now for your servant this morning, Father, who will bring forth the word. We touch him right now for the crown of the saints of the souls. Hallelujah. Move back. Hallelujah. Yes. Nothing too hard. Nothing too hard. Touch his heart. Let us see you planted today. Let your work come forth today with power. Oh, Yahweh, in authority right now. Thank you. Yes. Yahweh, we pray right now for the condition of the Middle East right now. Father, touch. Look down the pub. Palestine. Look down the pub. Israel right now. Father, the situation over there. Father, it's. It's all in your hands, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. It's all in your hands. Yes. Move by your power, Father, throughout the earth today. Yes. Destruction, chaos, confusion. It's everywhere. But Father, we know right now that you sent the company to come in the war with your children. Those who would take on this gift. Those who would yeah. declare Yahshua as that personal savior. Those who would go down in water immersion, baptism with you. In his name, Father, today, touch those right now who will be going down in Yahshua's name. Father, be with them and say, Oh, yeah, hallelujah. Oh, yeah, we give them right now that encouragement, that confidence to know that they're moving Yahweh on the path that you have all day. All of the steps of your people right now. Oh, yeah. All of all of my steps yeah, to your word. It is in you. That we live, that we move, that we have our existence. Today, Father, we pray for that peace and pass of all understanding. Yahweh, the peace that only you can give. We provide your name, we exalt you, we lift you up. There's a peace.
Give him praise to God. Give him praise to God. 
so grateful, so thankful. Love and love we God we brought us to. Hallelujah. It's so wonderful to see so many of you today and thank God for your presence. And to our Zoom ministry, brothers and sisters who are here today. May God we rock you and strengthen you in your endeavors. May He continue to give you strength. Whatever you're going through, brothers and sisters, being careful today, the Yahweh has it all in control. And we know that there's nothing to our fear. Hallelujah. See, I've never seen the righteous for Satan, nor I've seen the day of the So much to give him praise for. Thank you today for what he's done and for what he's going to do. And this time, God, we're going to do. Be favored with a few selections. Thank you all for our brothers and sisters who come from worship service to worship service to share that gifts and talents. We thank you all for Thank you all for all of you. And then we're going to ask our oh, daddy to go to you prepare yourself for us next year. Followed by our sister for me.
again will I search for that fake rainbow's end. Now that I've found the answer, my life is just starting to run. Sharing each new day with Joshua is a breath of fresh love. Oh, what I've missed, he was waiting right here all the time. He
Yahweh, other praise for Sister Joanne. Yahweh stood all the time. How many of you know he's a waiter? Yes. How many of you know he's a burden man? Yes. How many of you know he's a healer?
Hallelujah. Coming from Yahweh. Praise Yahweh for all my early days. Thank Yahweh for that. Thank Yahweh for all these. The words of encouragement. She's been a beautiful Moroccan to me and to the family. And we thank Yahweh for you. Touch your body. Give you good health. Let's see y'all with grace for our marriage. And today, brothers, we're going to be favored and eat from the table a meal that will be prepared by our only, one and only, associate elder, Daniel Melcher, today. We'll be coming to Morocco with the word. Let's give God a praise. Give God a praise. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you all for another opportunity to stand before the assembly again. We have a, a short prayer. Hallelujah. 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 Yahweh, strengthen this vessel today. Strengthen this mind, this body, Yahweh. Even in these vocal Hallelujah. voices today, Father, yes, Yahweh, continue to lead, God, and direct, Father, as we go forward today, Yahweh. Help me to see well and speak well, Yahweh, because I know it's you that are able to give the strength, Father. You are that are able to make a way, Father. Hallelujah. All these things we ask in the name of Yahshua and Messiah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Living by faith, spiritual battles. Giving honor to Pastor Woodbury, Pastor Elmo Woodbury Jr., giving honor to all the elders and ministers of the assembly, and giving honor to all those who are working in the capacity that Yahweh has assigned for them. Thank Yahweh for this congregation, and again, I ask you to pray for me today. That y'all may give me the strength and the, the yes. power to get out of word today, yes. Father, and y'all will find a good resting place, somewhere to grow. Yes. As always, I'm grateful for this opportunity to stand before this assembly and this venue where so many great men have stood. I am extremely grateful again for this opportunity. It allows me to get out of my comfort zone. And I began to think about the word legacy. And I began to think about what kind of legacy we would, might leave behind. And even what kind I might leave myself behind. And thank Yahweh for this opportunity. I had, had a perfect walk, but I always tried to stay with Yahweh and try to do the best I could. Hallelujah. And I, I'll say by nature, I'm an I'm a easygoing person and not mean or malicious. So I thank Yahweh for that for being that type of person. And we're going to get ready to go into our uh, message for the day. Yahshua is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Yahshua is the way. Yahshua is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Yahshua is the way. Hallelujah. Isaiah 59 and 1 says, Behold, the hand of Yahweh is not short that it cannot say, That's neither right. is his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Hallelujah. We are faced with many challenges in life. Some of them are due to our own earlier decision, but don't lose hope. Yahweh is able. Yes. Yahweh's hand is able to lift us up out of our situations and to guide us on the right path. That's when the children of Israel left Egypt, and also the mixed multitude left with them, they were faced with many challenges along the way. Hallelujah. Even today, as we see many things happening in our current day, just know that Yahweh is able to deliver us and to make a way out of what might seem like a hopeless cause and a hopeless situation. As I look to man today in his current state, many have given in or are overtaken in many devices, vices, and pleasures of the flesh, be it in the mind or in the body. 
We must be encouraged to know that Yahweh is able to make a way for us and that Yahweh is greater than our situation. Hallelujah. In the larger cities, I believe there are a lot of evil spirits walking about that we can't see. Sometimes they put evil thoughts into unsuspecting minds. Yep. Our goal is to stay prayed up and to help one along another through this life and to spread the word about Yahshua. Hallelujah. I remember so many positive and encouraging statements I have heard over the years at this assembly. These are things that I draw on and draw strength from. When battles of life get furious, I remember many of the statements which caused me to know that I can make it. Not of my own, but of Yahweh's strength. Yeah. The scripture says in Habakkuk 2.4, Behold his soul which is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. That's right. Romans 1.17 says, For therein is the righteousness of Yahweh revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, That's the right. just shall live by faith. That's right. yeah. We all have a pay, past and have fallen short from time to time. Hallelujah. But the true trust is to hang in there yes. to keep our own integrity and to stand strong. That's right. In this reality, which is called life, oh, yeah. we can always find a reason to be discouraged, but just keep on moving forward and don't get stuck. Hallelujah. Life itself is a great teacher. I found that we have to hang on in there and hang on to our faith. Life, in our, as our situations may look bleak, we wonder how we're going to make it. But don't give up. Even some great men in the scriptures have fallen short from time to time. Life teaches us as we go. Life teaches us as we go. So again, be encouraged. Oh yeah. Encourage means to give courage, mm -hmm. to be stimulated, yes. to be emboldened, All right. to countenance. Faith means, in part from the scriptures that said, faith is the substance of things hoped for yes. and the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. Study to show thyself approved a workman in the Yahweh that needeth not to be ashamed. Right. And that's in 2 Timothy 2.15. Yes. That's right. There are certain things we can do for ourselves. That is dedication, hard work, and determination. Oh, yeah. We can build our inner man by reading, studying, and praying. Yes. These are things we can do for ourselves. We can develop our inner man by studying Yahweh's word and meditating on it. Here's a nugget of wisdom. The library is a great place to read and grow. Mm -hmm. The quiet atmosphere fosters an environment that is meditative and receptive. In other words, you can hear yourself think. Oh, yeah. It is a place where you can exercise your mind and stretch your imagination. Hallelujah. Life can be challenging from time to time, but I remember so many times when I heard Sister Shirley Dickinson say, be encouraged and keep looking up. Yes. That's definitely an encouraging statement. Yes. One can give you hope, one that can help us along life's highway. Hebrews 10 and 25 says, Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and much the more as we see the day approaching. I believe there is a spiritual warfare taking place and the combatants are on the battlefield. Hallelujah. I remember Elmer Mason so clearly years ago when he said, are they trying to help? Everybody's not trying to help. That's right. We see many people along life's highway that are not trying to help. <clears throat> the enemy has his children here also. But again, don't be discouraged. Just keep walking by faith. Hallelujah. It was hard for me to realize that there are evil people here on the earth that are not trying to help. Oh, yeah. I overheard a wise man say many years ago, they can slow me down, but they can't stop me. All right. Long as you can read, you have hope. Don't give up in the heat of the battle. 
Just keep fighting. Just keep fighting. Just keep fighting. That means that every day you get up with hope in your heart, knowing that Yahshua is able to see you through. The scripture says that in Romans 5, 5, and hope maketh not a shame because of the love of Yahweh is shed abroad in the hearts by the set-aside spirit which is given unto you. For example, you might have to start off your day just by putting one foot in front of the other. And slowly but surely, you'll feel a vein of hope begin to rise and stir in your heart. Slow flames of fire begin to arise deep within. And you say, I can make it another day. Yes, right. The blood begins to pump and you feel a surge of energy. And you know you're on the right track. Right. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Yes. That's right. I'm sure if all of us can find a reason to be discouraged. Pastor Woodbury in short said in times past, one of the devil's, devil's greatest weapons is discouragement. The adversary wants to try to get us to give up and quit. My, my word to you is don't quit, don't give in, and don't give up. Love everybody, but realize everybody is not your friend. And Brother Belton said that. Hallelujah. So my brother and sister, don't be discouraged. We have a new day and Yahweh is still on the throne. That's right. That means he still has the power and authority. He calls the shots. And as the last and as, and last to say, we know that man has gone too far and he's done all that he can. Yahweh can reach and make it and take him the rest of the way. Oh, yeah. Yahshua can look at our situation reverse it, make it change course. He can look at our situation and review the work, review the record, review the record. Yes. Have they been a faithful soldier? Question mark. Uh -huh. Have they visited the sick? Question mark. Have they prayed for the sick? Question mark. Have they tried to help their brother or sister? Question mark. Mm -hmm. Have they been faithful in prayer? Question mark. Have they visited the sick? Yahshua is able to turn our situation around. And sometimes it doesn't change. If it doesn't change, he'll fix it so we can endure it. Yahshua is truly good. Yes, I'm reminded of so many people in the scriptures that were facing what seemed like impossible eyes. Their back was against the wall and they had nowhere to turn and nowhere to hide. But Yahweh came through for them. Oh, yeah. My word today is to hold on. Hold on, my brother. Hold on, my sister. All right. We've all had some red seas in our lives when we just did not see a way out of our situation, mess, or circumstances. Yeah. But Yahweh is good, and he has what? The master plan. Yes, Yahweh has what? The yes. key to unlock our situation. Yes. Pastor James Vivian said, go on by faith. Yahweh's plan can be supersede Satan's feeble attempts to destroy and keep us down. So be encouraged, my brother. Always be encouraged. Always be encouraged. We face spiritual battles every day. The scripture says in Ephesians 6, 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's right. Our days are filled with challenges, and sometimes it's challenges come whether we do right or wrong. That's right. The elder, as Elder Green said in his message a few weeks ago, we have a choice. Our goal is to make the right choice. Yes. These challenges are a test of what that try our soul and That's test right. our character. That's right. It is at these times we need to remember and rely on Yahweh. Yes. He is a true friend who can be called on in times of trouble. That's right. I look back on my life and wonder how I got over. It was only by Yahweh's favor. Yeah. There were times I could have been wiped off the planet, but Yahweh was good and allowed me to still be here yet another day. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. I have met some enemies along the way, even some devils along the way, but Yahweh has been good to me. 
I'm only here by Yahshua's favor. Yeah. Yah truly sometimes works in mysterious ways. I can almost hear Bishop Woodbury saying his ways are past our understanding. That's right. We sometimes don't see him with our natural eyes, but he is still working on our behalf. Yeah. But there are times in our lives when things happen we can't explain. It's out of our, co our scope of understanding. It does not follow the standard pattern of course. We look with wonder and wonder and hide these things in our heart for remembrance. And these are things that strengthen us along the way. Hallelujah. It was only because of Yahweh's favor that we live to see another day. We face spiritual battles every day. Yes. What can help us with these spiritual battles? Again, taking a close, what some would call a close look at Yahweh's word. Maybe gathering a verse and meditating it. The word Yahweh is still what? A great source that one can draw spiritual strength from. Hallelujah. When we consider Moses, Gideon, Joshua, Samuel, and David, and many others who face tremendous odds, one would consider their circumstances unsurmountable, hopeless. When I look at David and Goliath, one might think this was going to be an easy victory for the giant. But Yahweh specializes in situations that look hopeless. That's right. I imagine the giant feeling insulted that Israel would let David challenge him. But it was Yahweh who had the last say so and sent his champion to fight the giant. Hallelujah. It's not good to judge a man by appearances. Yahweh knows and sees the heart. Oh yeah. I remember years ago, Mayor Arian Bar Marion Barry had some challenges, some challenging times. He was taken in and somewhat say might be some not too good habits. But in the end, Yahweh gave him the strength to do better and overcome. Yes. One might think he would have hidden his head in shame, but that was not the case. In short, Yahweh gave him the strength to go forward. He said that Yahweh had given him a large spirit. He was endured to do the best that he can. We sometimes don't understand how or why. It is the heart of the inner man That's right. and that personal relationship with Yahweh. Yes. Joy is one of the true benefits of life. How do we find joy? Oh, yeah. One of the main ways of getting joy is to again read, hear, and study in Yahweh's word. Meditating on that word means to stop and to ponder. Yes. To take what someone might say again, a close look. Yes. Maybe to slow down. Take a verse, word by word. Yes. Stop again and consider the meat of what the verse is saying. Yes. And by Yahweh's favor, sometimes that word will get deeply planted in our souls. And we can gather and draw fruits from that word. Our job, I feel, is to study Yahweh's word and gather in that word and share it. These are the true riches of life. Hallelujah. Our physical body is deteriorating daily. Yes, it is evident that, it, that this is happening. For it would make sense, so it makes sense for us to work on our inner man, to build that inner man, to strengthen that inner man. The scripture says in Romans 1, 2, 1 20, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal Yahhead, so that they are without excuse. Hallelujah. And then we look at Galatians 1 15. Hallelujah. Who is the image? of the invisible mighty one, the firstborn of every creature. Clearly, there are things that are happening on this planet that our natural eyes, me, that our natural eye can't see. That's right. It can only perceive. Mm -hmm. And that is by Yahweh's faith. Hallelujah. So in conclusion, my brother and my sister, walk on through this life through faith. We can win the spiritual battles if we keep trusting in Yahweh. Oh, yeah. Yahweh is able to change our situation and to give us the victory. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. 
Yahshua is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Yahshua is the way. Yahshua is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Yahshua is the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It has truly been a pleasure. And I thank Yahweh for this opportunity. I was running out of steam, but you know Yahweh is good. Every day Yahweh is good. I can't complain. Hallelujah.
over elated. So with uplifted hands, Yahweh continue to give us the inspiration, the zeal, the hope, and the perseverance to press our way in this evil day, both now and forever. Let the assembly say, Hallelujah! 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 Say, I feel like going on. Shalom, my brothers and my sisters. May y'all be gone. Have a beautiful week, beloved.